demon space. Some people call them Yama. Some people call them uh, Yama assistant. Interesting. Look at this gentleman. What is his fingers symbol? His fingers position. What is the meaning of it? I'm not quite sure. Maybe carabao or rock and roll. Chum <laughs> suo. Good morning, everyone. I am Mao Sukhaim, a local guide for Angkor Wat based in Siem Reap and in Phnom Penh. Today, I'm taking you to visit one of the buildings inside Angkor Thom, the former capital city of Cambodia. This place is called the Terrace of the Lapa King. It is located at the northeast of the former royal palace located inside the capital city. This terrace of the Lapa King was constructed under the reign of King Jayavarman VII in late 12th and early 13th centuries. And today, I have time to share you some story behind this terrace of the Lapa King. Who is Lapa King? Or is it just the word of mouth or rumor from our ancestor? Or what did we use this place for in the past? If you want to know more detail, follow me. I will walk you around and visit this terrace of the Lapa King. Who is this statue? Is he a king? Lapa King? Or is he Yama? God of death. There are two different ideas. Based on the word of mouth or rumor of people, they have lived here a long time ago. They call this statue Lapa King. The reason because they see hands with our fingers. And they also believe that one of the king who ruled in Angkor long time ago, his name King Yatsawaraman, he got leprosy. That's why he was a leper king. And this building was constructed maybe, maybe three years. This building was constructed maybe 300 years after that. Because King, as you know, King Yatsaw Varaman, he was the first Angkor founder. That he first set up the capital city in here. And then a lot of people believe that he was the leper king. That's the reason why King Jayavarman VII, the builder of this place, built his statue, put his statue on this building for respecting and say thanks to him because he found first anchor. So to say thanks and respect to this king. That's based on the rumor and the word of mouth for local people. Other, other idea believe that it may be King Jayavarman VII. He got leprosy. That's why he built so many hospitals for everyone in Cambodia in those days. But anyway, this is just the word of mouth, just the uh, rumors from the local people that they have lived here, based on the scholars, based on French, based on high educated people in Cambodia. When we found this building and we cleared the vegetation and we restored this building, it was restored twice, first in 1960s, and then uh, first in the in the year 1960s. Secondly, I guess about 1994, when they restored and rebuilt this building, they found this uh, statue. But this is the copy one, made from concrete. The original one is in Phnom Penh, in the central courtyard of the National Museum in Phnom Penh. And this statue, in the form of naked, sitting flat knee sitting sitting left knee very flat and then uh, right knee raised and naked if no clothes wrapping around you see no sex and then look at his face with the mustache beautifully so based on the scholars based on the high educated people based on french when they when they found this building, they search and learn. They believe that this is the crematorium. And this crematorium used for cremation to the royal families, to our kings, and the important people in those states. So it means that 
this is one of the oldest crematorium that used for cremation our working royal family and important people like high priests in those days. And because of uh, this place is uh, crematorium, that's why our King Jayavarman Seven, uh, because this building was constructed under the reign of King Jayavarman the Seven, so he put the statue of Yama. So Yama is God of Death. So the reason that we put his statue on the building here, it means all of the spirit after cremation. So Yama would send to the better place to paradise. That is the meaning behind it. But if you look around the statue of Yama, you see four more statues. This four more statue located to the four cardinal points. They are the guardians protecting this area crematorium. That's the meaning. It makes sense when our king left Angkor in 15th century. Later on, they found uh, uh, many places uh, to build the capital city, and Phnom Penh is one of those. And when our king built the capital city in Phnom Penh, and our king built the royal palace in Phnom Penh, just located to the four arms of the Mekong River. So at the northeast of royal palace in Phnom Penh, you also see a crematorium located in front of the National Museum in Phnom Penh. They use it the same purpose. They use it for cremation to the royal family, to our king, and for uh, Buddhist leader. Uh, the same thing in here, in the past. A long time ago, uh, 12th, 13th century, this place, the function, the purpose of this place, used for crematorium, for cremation, royal family, or high priests, or uh, Buddhist leaders. That's the reason why it makes sense that this place is exactly the same. Our king, uh, uh, living in Phnom our king copy uh, the area, uh, royal palace here together with crematorium and to build a new one in Phnom Penh exactly the same. After learning the history, the story of Lepa King or Yama God, so I will walk you down and touring around. Fascinating to see the beautiful carving on the wall downstairs and we will see more detail downstairs and together with the symbol. How come? that uh, very complicated building here. So more detail, please come with me. I will tour you around downstairs. The terrace of the Lepa King was constructed with two walls, one located outside and one is inside. Between the two walls, there is a small way that you can explore around. The one located outside, based on the mythology, that is a symbol of paradise. That's the reason why you see a lot of beautiful carving depicting the life of the myth called being. And the one inside, the wall inside, represents the underworld. Very similar uh, carvings covered on the wall, but you will see the wall inside, the carving look more detailed because the carving located outside because of the climate, because of the timing, so look poorer condition. Come with me, I'll show you the complicated small way to go there. And this small way explore between the two walls, it represents to the uh, complicated, this small way between the two walls represent to the mystery of the universe. That's why it's complicated. You might get lost easily. Uh. 
look at the detail if you look beautiful with the mythical beings most of them are female beautiful so some people call apsara dancers celestial dancers so the mythical being who lives in paradise mostly but based on the story of the churning of the milk ocean all of the apsara dancers were born from the milk ocean most of them God took them to live in paradise. They are the concubines of God. They are the dancers of God. But some of them also live underworld. They are the concubines of the demons. They are the concubines of Yama. It means that some of them not only in paradise, but they also live under the world. Because now uh, we are here now and looking, the carving beautifully. Uh, they are depicting about the life, the underworld. Look at the the detail of the multiple uh, headed snake. They call Naga. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine headed Naga. Look at this beautiful high relief. So this building not only showing you the life in paradise or the life under the world, but you also can see the normal life on earth. So you can see mostly women's or the men's sitting on uh, the boat, sitting on the snake, naga, uh, with different uh, decoration. Could be mythical lion heads, dragon heads, uh, some of them riding on the elephants, like a mahout, elephant uh, hunters, maybe. And some of them riding on turtle, and different type of animals, features. So the priest sitting together, so this is all of this represent to the life on earth. this everyone because of the reconstruction that the the government the workers try to rebuild the wall protected them from falling down this is rebuilt but they keep some small holes that you can see the detailed carving attached to the wall so it means that uh, both sides of the wall external or uh, internal layers there's a carvings not only the one covered outside but inside both sides of each wall both sides of each wall covered by a beautiful carving this is called the high relief not only one side outside everyone very interesting this building originally two walls covered by the carving at both sides you also can see the carving under the lid of this concrete wall because during the restoration the authority tried to uh, build the concrete wall to support the wall otherwise otherwise it can collapse during the reconstruction the restoration team tried to build the concrete wall in order to uh, protect the original one so that's the reason why you see you see they keep small hole but to let you know that there's a carvings in it.
А где я? They are sitting together in different layers. So totally there are seven layers, seven floors. But some of them have gone. During the reconstruction, we didn't see any more pieces of carving on the wall. That is, they are the pieces that we found and we put them back. Some of them had gone. They are sitting together happily, represented the happy life. These carvings are in good condition, but I guess probably our ancestor didn't finish it. If you compare this uh, high relief, this carving to the outer corner of the building, the outer corner looks smooth, nice, polishing, very nice. But look at this, very rough. From the hammers and chisel, cutting stone, I guess they had not finished it yet. That's why it looked very rough. Everyone, as you walk around, you see these figures repeated again and again. You see important person sitting among the beautiful Apsara dancers. And these people look at their faces, demon's face. Some people call them Yama. Some people call them uh, Yama assistant. Based on the carving on the wall of Angkor Wat, Yama sitting on the water buffalo holding the chesty clubs with many arms. So. Surrounding him, there are many Yama assistants waiting for his order and for judgment. So maybe it happened the same thing here. So a lot of Yama assistants sitting holding the justice clubs. That is one of the ideas. As you see, uh, the real statue of Yama is located on the top that I showed you earlier. All around the walls, it's again and again. You see it repeated again and again. Sitting, uh, holding fans, show their respect and look after their master. Look after the important one in the middle. Look at this better condition compared to the other corner. Look more detailed and well preserved especially to the grounds, the triangle grounds of the Apsara. Fascinating that this 900,000 years ago, that's still amazing, this carving. I guess because it uh, doesn't affect by the weather, like rain or sun or wind. Interesting, look at this gentleman. What is his finger's symbol? Interesting, everyone, look at this statue. 
very good condition. Next to him with two ladies holding uh, fans. That was the electrical fan <laughs> today. <laughs> but of course, look at this uh, man, his fingers precision. What is the meaning of it? I'm not quite sure. Maybe carabao or rock and roll, <laughs> but I'm not quite sure. Somebody know the meaning of his fingers precision, please let me know, comment and let me know down there, okay? So uh, I would like to uh, learn from you as well, because for me, I'm not quite sure about the meaning of this uh, fingers precision. It's a rock and roll. <laughs> in Western cultures, it's a rock and roll. But in, in, uh, in Korean period, we don't know what does it mean. This is the exit on the underground. From the northern part of the terrace of the Lucky Tree, you see the seven layers of the cuttings on the wall. The same the wall inside the building covered by the same labels. The same, the wall inside covered by the same labels of carving. But some of them have gone. So after this, we will tour around and enjoy looking at the beautiful carvings on the wall. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Look down there at the basement of the lower part, the terrace of the leper king. There are different species of fish, crocodiles, turtle, crabs. Some species of fish are as big as crocodile size. It's not an accident. Our ancestor intentionally showed this different species of fish to the people today. This different species of fish came from the biggest lake nearby called Tun Le Sap Lake, which is not far from Angkor Thom. They were everywhere in the past. This is the food for people in those days. And if you look up apart to the carvings, you see ladies sitting peacefully together with princess wearing a beautiful triangle grounds surrounded the guards or the most important person. If you look at the lower part a little bit, you see the detail of the palace still beautifully. Columns, roof, something decoration, the palace very nice. This is the lives in paradise. They live happily there. If you stand on the ground floor and looking to the wall of the terrace of the leper king from downstairs, from outside, you are going to see this carving repeated again and again. Together, if you count from the ground floor to the top, there are seven floors. First, second, and third seems like they are the same. Seven floors of the beautiful carvings on the wall represent to the seven days of the week. Every day they enjoy their life. That is the meaning of the seven floors of the beautiful carving on the wall. Nowadays, you still can see two different types of stone, sandstone and laterite. 
or we can call one more name of laterite is lava stone. Sandstone is sulfur, and we could use sandstone to produce very nice carving. As you know, we could not carve on lava stone or laterite because it's harder. Usually, with the ancient architecture, the architect used lava stone or laterite to build a foundation or the city wall or the temple wall. With this terrace of the leper king, we use laterite as a wall, but sandstone applies at both sides. The color of sandstone is gray, but now looking from here, you see sandstone covered by green moss. You might see different colors of the moss, can be red, can be black, can be green. And because of the raining, so raining causes moss growing on different colors of sandstone. The colorful mosses add more beauty to sandstone high relief. Everyone, do you know that crematorium always located at the northeast of the royal palace? The same thing nowadays, royal palace in Phnom Penh, crematorium always located the same direction of the royal palace, northeast. Northeast direction is the best direction for the Khmer belief. The reason that the northeast direction is the best direction for our belief because when the sun rotates to the northeast, it means that that is the day longer than night. Everyone in Cambodia like daytime than nighttime because nighttime dark, they could not see anything. So they prefer daytime. When the sun rotates to the northeast, it means day longer than night. When the sun rises exactly at the east direction of Cambodia, it means that we have equinox, 12 hours at day, 12 hours at night. When the sun goes to the southeast of Cambodia, it means daytime shorter than nighttime. Coming back to our crematorium, we prefer to build crematorium at the northeast direction because northeast direction daytime longer than nighttime. When this place, Torres of the Leper King, was active, used as a crematorium for cremation, the body of our royal families, our king or high priest, there were many people walk around this crematorium anti-clockwise. People were walking peacefully by praying in their mind, dedicate, dedicate the spirit to be born in a perfect place. And we are still carrying this tradition and apply with the modern crematorium until nowadays. Everyone, I hope you enjoy my video. If you like it, please do not forget to press like, share, comment, and follow my page. I am happy at any time to receive your constructive feedback. Thank you very much. I will see you in my next video. Thank you.